Good morning, Dr. Eric Lajinski here. I'm back in the office. It's Monday. I had a great weekend and hopefully you did too. Today we're going to talk about high intensity interval training, also known as HIIT training. Uh, we're going to talk about how much tra uh, time is actually needed to be, for it to be effective. We all, we all know regular exercise is part of a healthy lifestyle, um, but a lot of times the most common um, excuse I hear is people don't have the time. Well, the good news is um, if this is the case in your individual situation where you feel you don't have the time, um, HIIT training might be excellent for you. And the reason being is because the scientific literature proves uh, or shows that uh, you can get an effective workout with this type of training and it doesn't take much time. I personally myself uh, spend anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes in the morning working out um, at home, minimal equipment. Um, so uh, you can make the time, you can get a lot done in a short amount of time and uh, HIT is one of the ways you can do that. The principles behind HIT training is that you're going high intensity for a short period of time followed by uh, shorter period, uh, short periods of rest that are longer than the actual training. Um, and how much time needs to be done? Um, so the answer is in some research uh, studies, they've shown as little as four seconds of high intensity, all out um, exercise can be very effective followed by short periods of about 15 to 20, even 30 seconds of rest, and then go right back into it. And you do this 10, 15, 20 times, and you can get an effective workout in a really short amount of time. Um, now, this may not be for you. Maybe you like going to the gym and you know spending you know half hour, hour, two hours at the gym and and getting your, your that type of workout done. But for those that are looking for um, time management as, as far as exercises being as most effective as you can, um, you, hit training might be a great idea. One of the, some of the advantages of HIIT training is that uh, there's an increase in VO2 peak, which is maximum oxygen intake, also an increase in blood flow volume, also an increase in an anaerobic, anaerobic power. So it, it does affect both aerobic and anaerobic activities. Obviously it depends upon what specifically you're doing. Uh, but if you'd like uh, some examples of these types of workouts or some guidance in the direction that you're looking for, that just shoot me a message, give me a call. Like I said, um, I've done all sorts of things in the gym, outside the gym, at home, um, out in the park, uh, and there's lots of ways to be effective in a short amount of time. Uh, so I truly believe that everybody has the time. They just have to carve out a little bit of time each day. And that's what's important, guys. Uh, it's, be it's better, that, in my opinion, that you do something every day for even 15 or 20 minutes uh, rather than going to the gym for three uh, for uh, three times a week for two hours if if your time is limited for me I think it's more effective that it's consistent and it's done every day and it's part of your lifestyle part of a healthy lifestyle along with other all the other things we talk about of course if you're experiencing pain with any type of exercise uh, neck pain back pain give us a call shoot us a message don't just push through the pain you could be making the problem much worse and it'd be a lot longer to, to correct the problem if there is an existing problem there um, that's all we got for today any questions like I said give us a message uh, sh uh, shoot us a message give us a call excuse me and we'll be uh, doing our best to help you as much as we can talk to you soon